here at uh, y'all's favorite place. Well, hey. second favorite place because your favorite place is our shop. Right. Yeah. And then this, oh, that's, that's this might be your second favorite place. Oh, cool. Look at your little bike. You should do a paint job like that one. Pink with flowers and white ones. Sheesh. All right, guys, so we're here back in uh, Freak Show Fabrications, Den, Laboratories, and he just told me that this knucklehead is up for grabs. Sold, bro. I do wish. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not actually true. <laughs> so we just uh, sat down and had some pollo tropical. Chris, would you think your bowl with your rum sauce? Oh, it was amazing. Delicious. That rum sauce was sweet though. Yeah. I had a peanut butter sandwich. Curry mustard's where it's at. Peanut butter sandwich. I had a peanut butter sandwich. Just peanut butter? And cream cheese. Oh damn, yeah. that sounds good as fuck. That's good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, throw yeah. like bananas in there or something. Oh. Have the Elvis. Peanut butter and banana sandwiches and Elvis. Oh, what about peanut butter, banana, and cream cheese? Call it Drew. <laughs> we just made up a sandwich. <laughs> You're welcome. Go ahead and try it. Let us know if you guys try it out. Let us know how it is. I'm sure it's delicious. So we're sitting here over the uh, welding table going over uh, the fact that uh, you guys recently voted on our next giveaway bike. And so it was pretty much the Ginny Shovel in 1967. It was either that or we were going to build a motorcycle with uh, all the parts available here at Freak Show Fabrication. So if you guys don't remember from last time, this is a Drew from Freak Show Fab. Much less awkward now that we've done an episode. Still absolutely awkward. Still awkward. Uh, also, Chris, um, here with me. And I'm here. And we've been I'm working together for a couple stuff. years, and he's still awkward, too. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, always. Yeah, I'm actually over here looking for our next project. That's a project we're not yet speaking about. Um, in addition to the project that uh, I brought in the back of the truck, and then in addition to the project that uh, we're going to go pull some parts for. Here's all the projects. So, all the projects, lots of collaboration shit going on here. So, you guys voted for us to build a motorcycle and give it away for our next giveaway. So season nine, Blockhead Bike Giveaway. We are building a custom chopper. Let me show you guys around this place real quick if you missed that episode. Just so much badassery happening here. Yeah, I touched the knuckle. You wanna fight me about it? <laughs> So there you go, guys. Come on, internet land. No one has a knuckle for this guy. <laughs> yeah, damn, you guys, there's no knuckles out there? You guys are supposed to be finding one. I think we might uh, try to throw a bunch of stuff on the lift here so we can show you guys the bike that we're giving away. All right, there's the one you guys voted against. We're not doing that one. So apparently I get to pick up an engine now. It is a long walk. So you better just go for it. All right. You good? Time yeah. to go. It's time to go. You're gonna realize how long the building is, too. Ooh, my arms are so light now. <laughs> You're gonna go to pick something up and be like, God! <laughs> For real, I feel, I feel like they want to float up. How was it being cameraman? Doing, doing some, doing the man. It, it was good. Man, it's I, nice I, being on that side. I just need to hold the camera more up. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> All right, so the next part that we get is what frame probably, which is up there. It's kind of windy out there too, so that's that's exactly what it is. Man, this is creepy as. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, the light came back on. What? That's <laughs> some boogie boogie going on up here. All right, so the door slammed when we were downstairs. <laughs> and then as we were walking back up, it opened and the light turned on. That's just a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's get the f out of here, man. <laughs> How old did you say this building was? 30s. This building was really built in sure. the 30s. That was legit crazy. It's been added on to so many times. There you go, in the light. Brand new, never used. Let's talk front end first real quick. I'm thinking uh, Springer or Girder. 
girder. Girder? Oh. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> All right. This is a girder. I think I mean, a girder's I cool. Well, if you guys don't want a girder, I'll do a girder on my uh, pan. So I don't know if you want to spring it. That's cool too. Nobody cares what they want. I care what they want. You just say that now because you're holding the camera. No. <laughs> you're just trying to sound good on the internet. Really, exactly. in my heart, I care. Oh, oh, you don't got it, y'all. Bro, uh, this community has been with me for like almost seven years now. No, just a very <laughs> small stopped, portion of it. And it I stopped grown. caring about them a year ago. <laughs> yeah. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a girder. Uh, this is a springer. So Drew's bike that you guys liked a lot um, has a Springer, similar to this one. Are y'all still talking? Yeah. <laughs> you want to know a secret? When I go to bed at night, I don't give a flying f about you or anybody in that mother right there. All I care about is the fact that I feel like a decent person. Because there were many a time in my life where I didn't feel that way. Yeah. So f everybody in their bullshit. So Look, real. he's gonna give Chris me a hot. Look at this, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is such a sweetie. See, he talks all this big game. Oh, I yeah. think he's tough as f but yeah. he's really a softie, especially I when am. it comes to Melissa. I go, oh, well, that's the only one that I give yeah. Bro, he just melts in her yeah. hand. So, another source of debate that you guys had in the comments section okay. seemed like you guys were kind of divided between a pan head or a shovel head. So, you know, I, I say pan, and I think someone else here said shovel, and then didn't we just say, f it, let's do both? We'll just do both. How yeah, about a pan both. shovel? You guys want to do a, a pan shovel? A legitimate pan shovel. It'd be a it's pan be and a shovel. <laughs> so, a shovel pan. Or pan shovel. Pan shovel. Which way do you read it? Left to right like a book, or front to back on the bike? Well, that's all in the eyes of the beholder. All in the eyes of the beer holder. And we got some 1988 Harley Davidson heavy beer out there. Let's grab them. Give you know, 20 bucks to drink them. Ooh, oh, really? No. No, fuck no. Why don't I go to the ER? I've been trying that for years. I don't know. That beer would taste like <laughs> Pan shovel? Is that weird? Say knuckle pan, but it's no. difficult. No. No. Well, you know, because half know of that why is. we're getting this no, because it's concerning. Half of that is. I draw, I draw the line. <laughs> knuckles and pans. Not to mention half of that engine would be like five thousand dollars. Chopin. The Chopin. We'll call the it the Chopin. That's actually kind of funny. And that's how the name of the bike was born. And the Chopin. Painted on the side of the gas. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you want to explain to him again like kind of what was going on with the engine? So this thing is a bit of a Johnny Cash special. 62 cam side. It's a 70 left side pan head top end it's all factory harley davidson parts it was just put together just to be a rider you know? and you were saying that actually makes it better yeah it's than... got a better charging system so instead of having a generator it's got an alternator in it more doors for transmissions to it easier you can do five speed if you want electric start or kick only then kick oh, only or should we have electric start i personally don't feel like kicking me neither especially since it's coming into the hot months of florida it'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fine he promises it'll be a one kicker it might be like a five kicker. You know? <laughs> oh, that was, be like a, it was like one, a live version of an asterisk. <laughs> it'll, uh, yeah, edited. Five edited. kicker. Electric start, it just goes till it fires. That's true. Makes it easier. Or the battery goes You can pretend dead. you can do a yep. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, while holding the button. So I'd say do electric start. I mean, it's just. It could have both, too. It can have both. Uh, that Evo over there has both. Has so you can always slap both on there. I like start and kick. So you can have the fun of kicking it when you feel like it. When you want to be but cool, but you can guy, also you can... just. Dude, when we're, whenever you can we kick were... it at the bar, but when no one's around, you hit that button. So you know, <laughs> that's, that's how that works. Poser. <laughs> so whenever we were at Mama tried, there was somebody trying to kick a bike over, and it was like a lot. Like they were worn the f out. Here in Florida, I usually advocate for electric start just because it gets hot as sh and I don't want to be like chilling after going to the brewery, like trying to kick oh, a bike won't over. Be chilling in the f heat. Not chilling. Yeah, they'd be throwing up in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> after jumping up and down <laughs> on a fing kicker. I would definitely go route of kicker plus starter. Uh, but you guys let us know down in the comments below. Just do both. Like it's a show <laughs> pan. It'll be a both. Okay. Like I said, it's already mismatched in the bottom end. It's got shovel head flywheels in it. The alternator shovel head left side case. It's got the pan head right side case. Apparently now it's going to have a shovel head cylinder and head on the rear and a pan head on the front. So, you know, why not just keep rolling with it, right? Keep the weirdness just rolling. Keep getting weird. We'll do a 
kicker five speed with electric start. <laughs> it's, it sounds oh, like fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> when he says it, it sounds so painful. <laughs> it's like going against everything he's ever stood for. It is. <laughs> we'll do this one weird, and then I've got one in the back of my truck that we'll do a little bit more correct, just yeah. so we can balance you out. Does that work? It's starting to stress me out. I'm starting to sweat. Over <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? He was like, I'm done with this partnership. Get out of my shop. <laughs> Got plenty of room with that frame. Oh, my watch. Can you take that off? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to educate people on the shovel pan? I don't know how to educate. I know that it was made popular by Indian Larry. He was not the first to do it but he definitely was one to make it popular. For those of you that don't he know who Indian Larry one. was. He was influential in my time, to me. And I know to many other people out there. Back well, when this was all shaking. orange groves. Yeah, no bullshit, <laughs> right. It was, <laughs> when I was young, it was fucking orange groves around here. So that's a saying we have in Florida because there's been so much development that like everything used to be orange groves. Back to a serious note, I don't know how many people would, would know from TV and just being alive, anybody that's over I would want to say, what, 35? Should know of him. Yeah. Or have heard of him. He was on all the biker build-offs. Yeah. I did three of them. Well, him um, and Billy Lane used to, like, work pretty closely together on stuff. Well, they do, they like, did, build-offs together. They, uh, they did the biker build-off together, and I think they kind of built, like, a bond through that. And yeah. then when he passed away, they built a tribute bike for him, uh, and everybody got together. Bond Discovery was one of those shows. Indian Larry Legacy is still a thing. Huge. They make great parts. They're good dudes. He did mixed match motors, like mismatch heads and stuff on the, just yeah, to be so different. some pretty innovative things, at least to, to national level, uh, like twisted down to. He didn't I was going to say, twist yeah, it, but twisted. he twisted it twice one way and then yeah. twisted back. And then, yeah, I actually saw an so episode of like how they did, did that. The chain pretty, frame. Pretty well. That the was chain, a film. The chain of mystery. Yeah, the chain of mystery that was filmed and that was, it may look rather simple, but that's not the most simplest thing to do. So there you go. If you guys want some more insight on Indian Larry, just Google it. There's tons of shit out there about him. One of the more simplest things that people don't think about as well is you can take a round side of tank, cut it out, and then just flip the two sides. Oh, so that it like went inward. Right, right? so yeah. it had an inward dish. Yeah. I know, again, he didn't like start this. Guys did it before, but he just brought it to a, Put another level. Way, yeah. yeah. Did a lot of good for the uh, motorcycle community in terms of exposure, for sure. That's uh, kind of the idea behind it. Since you guys can't decide on what you want, we'll do both. How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the second I thing we're doing with Drew ever, and we're already making him uncomfortable. I want to see it, I want to see it one more time. <laughs> Drew, how does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> So I know a lot of you guys commented on Drew's personal bike, the, was it the Flathead, mm -hmm. right? 37 Flathead. And just the overall ergonomics of it, but that would be, that would be a Springer. My bike's stock frame, stock front end, pan head frame, but it's a stock knucklehead front end. All right, so we're going through a couple gas tank options. What do you call this one again? Uh, Wassel tank. Wassel? Made by a company called Wassel. Well, this is a repop, but it's made by a company called Wassel in England. Shorter tank, especially as compared to a Sportster style, so what, skinny Sportster style, right? That's a super extreme sports right there. So, thinking this would look better, but we put this one on there, and uh, I think most of us actually uh, kind of like the way it looks. I honestly think I like that one better. I do too, honestly. That one's too skinny. Yeah. You need the one in the between. Ready, lost the <laughs> Like, barely on it. Now, we didn't get this one for this bike. This was just like an extra one that we had. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, gross. He's massive. It's really not that horrible. It is. True. No, it is. Actually, 100% is that horrible. <laughs> it's not that horrible. What makes it that ugly? Oh, it's just massive. It's got a weird weird shape to it from the top, too. Like, super squared off because of the dishes. Hey, look at the difference there. I don't know. I think that's the one. Yeah, well, I like it. Guess let us know in the comments down below. Cool. Yeah, I actually don't hate it. It's not would not have been my first go-to choice. No. Nope. I don't really dislike it. Funny, I you just said, kind of throw it on there and it speaks to you. Sometimes it does. We are going to be giving this motorcycle away whenever we're done building it with Drew. Drew, we're going to give this thing away. What? You're going to give it away? We're going to give it away. Wow. Right? 
That's pretty cool. It's just a way of thanking our community who shows us can so I much enter? support. No, you cannot. Oh. Unfortunately, <laughs> I can't enter. Chris can't. None of our employees can. None of our families can. None of our the people that we ride with, so Blockhead crew, none of them can enter. There's a lot of uh, disqualifications. So, what are next steps for uh, for this build? Well, we're gonna look at getting this motor shovel head pan headed out, I guess, and get a front end for it. Get into a roller. Get a wheel, some wheels for it. Get it sitting where it needs to sit, and then we'll start doing all the cosmetic stuff on it really track down a transmission get Again, some more parts next kind of parts are going to coordinate ordering parts uh, as soon as we get a good amount of those in i get started working on it and stuff we'll resume uh in the next episode basically building it out so we're going to be here uh pretty often uh working on the spikes so you guys get ready Don't to see real life work like that. Yeah. get ready to see more of drew here yeah. at freak show fabrication you guys go give him a follow at freak show fab be sure to give chris a follow as well he's uh snapping out of his sleepiness yeah Follow, follow, follow. He looks a little more lively. Follow him in real life, too, if you see him in public. No. Just, like, right behind him like a little duckling. Nope. 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 Anyways, hope you guys are excited for this one. If you want to enter to potentially win this motorcycle whenever we're done with it, head over to blockheadmoto.com. Sign up, select a tier. It gets you guys entered to uh, or entered into our giveaway. You also get various other perks, like discounts on merch, which I think I'm the only one wearing something right now, right? Blockhead Laboratories. Um, you also get uh, early access to episodes, access to our Discord server. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Thanks again for inviting us into the shop, man. Much appreciated. Looking forward to working more with you. There you go, guys. That's the start of it. The idea of it. I got to carry an engine today. Yeah. All right. We take a break from your normally scheduled broadcast to announce the winner of season eight. For the Blockhead Motorcycle Giveaway, Blockhead Bike Giveaway. Joining me in the shop, we've got Pretty Venny. What's up? God, look how pretty he is. Sick wide glad. God, look how cool he is. I'm gonna tell you guys who won this bike. You guys actually haven't seen it in this current form. We do have parts back from paint. We are getting the center dash part uh, repainted. So we've got a couple details. We're not gonna go super in depth into basically showing you guys the bike. We're gonna do a separate episode. Uh, where we do a, a bike check essentially going over all the details, but this is currently it as you guys can see It has a low rider style paint job and uh, you guys know about the performance. It's got the stage 2 F35A cam throttle body injectors manifold So waiting on powder coats come back for the uh, wheels and some of the various other parts after that should be good to go And we're gonna be shipping it to the winner which we have in the bag. You wanna grab it? Yeah Oh so before we open that, guys, uh, we just want to let you know about the current giveaway. So season nine of the Blockhead Bike Giveaway. In addition to us giving away a motorcycle, we got companies that want to basically jump on board and uh, giving back to the community. So we've been doing this for a while. I've been doing these giveaways for a bit. I don't even know, like over 10 motorcycles that were given away, super custom stuff. Hart and Huntington uh, is on board now. Uh, they basically want to give a, a tattoo to whoever the winner is for this upcoming season. So for season nine, whoever wins, you also get a free tattoo, which Woo! we've gotten tattoos from, as you guys saw that last episode, we got a little Oscar the Grouch over there. I got my hands done. You got anything from H&H? &H? No? No? Not, not yet. Got a lot of blank space over here, bro. What are you doing? Also, Rurock, um, they are down to donate a helmet, and then whatever we get the next bike painted, uh, we're going to get a Rurock helmet that fits the winner, whoever that is. We're going to have it custom painted to match the bike. So big thanks to Rurock and big thanks to Hart Huntington. In addition to you getting like a sick bike. So as you guys know, we're building out a custom chopper in collaboration with uh, Freak Show Fabrication. Also, if you guys were entered for season eight, the last month of entries for season eight automatically goes into season nine. So if you were signed up for the full um, season for season eight up to that last month, that last month is gonna automatically go towards that next bike that we're building. So you automatically get entered to potentially win that next motorcycle that we're giving away. Is that it, Vinny? That's it. That's it? That's all of it. I think that's it. As you guys know, really appreciate all y'all's contributions, signing up for the website. If you guys want to get in to potentially win a motorcycle, like we're giving this one away right now, head over to blockinmotor.com, sign up, select the tier. You got five tier options to choose from. You get various other perks, early access to episodes, discounts on merch, exclusive access to the Discord community, and potential win a sick bike whenever we're done. So this bike isn't quite done. Like I said, we're waiting on powder. Next bike, we're gonna keep you guys updated on that as it progresses as well. So we've had a third party randomly select uh, based on all of the entries for last season. And we have that name here in this envelope, which Pretty Vinny 
is going to open with great anticipation. What is it? Hume? Hume? Chai Hume? Chai. Humey? How do you how do you pronounce this? Hume. I would, but I don't but I don't know. Chai Hume. Congrats, Chai Hume. T Y Humey. Humey. Let's see if we can get him on on the phone. Ty, if we mispronounce your name, man, uh, apologies. We're gonna try to give you a call real quick. But yeah, just I don't know how to say your last name. Sorry, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and call. Ooh, picks up. Pick up your phone, bro. I'm gonna go. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. Damn, message. Ty. Well, we're gonna try and call him again. But if we can't get him on the line before that, congrats, Ty, on your new 2022 Harley Davidson Lowrider SG. <laughs> so. I feel like without the actual calling him and talking to him, it's kind of underwhelming. So hopefully we can get that information or that call for you guys. Sleep in? I'm in. What if he's just napping? Your call has been forwarded to an what automated voice. Right? He could be driving. He could be safe driver that's, you know, 10-2 and doesn't answer the phone. Well, congratulations, Ty. We're going to try you back a few times. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a hold of him on the phone. Uh, we do give the winners, I want to say it's like five days or something like that to basically respond back. So we've tried to call him. Uh, we're going to send him an email, try to hit him up on Discord. Uh, we try to exhaust all outlets basically like to contact the winners uh, before we move on to the next person. But um, if we can't get a hold of him, then we are kind of forced to move on to that next person. Once again, thank you guys for uh, entering for these giveaways. We really appreciate it. It allows us to be able to do what we do essentially it uh keeps the lights on uh here in the blockhead garage it helps me to uh be able to afford talents such as these guys you got pretty penny who's eight years still yeah right eight year uh expert level harley technician chris sick wide glide 26 000 year harley davidson master level technician uh good talent ain't cheap so uh we are able to crank out beautiful bikes like this um because you guys are supporting us through uh, subscribing, hitting the like button, dropping your comments, signing up for the website. It allows us to be able to do some really cool shit. So thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Yes. Those tell, things. tell Blockhead how proud of him you are. What? <laughs> proud? How proud you are of him for carrying an engine. Oh. Y'all, I don't guys. know if you got to see that in this cut. I hope you did. But yeah, he did that all of what? What would we say this is? About that's 350 long, feet? Yeah. 400 feet? My arms didn't hurt too much it. afterwards. In those boots, though. In those. In those boots. Those fancy boys. Like that? I love um. them. <laughs> oh, here, click. <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe, do the ding thing, tell your mom, all that good stuff. And uh, till next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys on the next one. Deuces. Yeah.